Okay. Um, what I want to do is talk to you guys a little bit about um, complementary and supplementary angles. All right. So if I want you guys to kind of think back to your geometry class. All right. Way back. And think about these two angles. Right. Remember, we said that this is what we call a right angle. And remember, it is equivalent to 90 degrees. This is what we call the straight angle, and that was equivalent to 180 degrees. Right? Okay. So we said that any two angles that add up to 180 degrees, we call supplementary, right? Yeah. And we said that any two angles that add up to 90 degrees were what we call complementary. Correct? Yeah. You guys remember that? So you guys need to remember that um, those old definitions. And then what we started doing was this is where we started making geometry difficult. We said, um, all right, well, what if, uh, you know, well, actually, we, we said, what if this is x and this is 30 degrees? You know, find x. Well, we could write the statement what, that x plus 30 equal 90 degrees, right? And then we even got more complicated. We said, like, x minus 4, and this is like 2x, right? And you said, well, it doesn't really matter because you can still write the formula x minus 4 plus 2x equals 180, right? We could write that statement, right? These two angles plus, these two angles added together equals 180, right? Um, well, what we're going to do is, let's pretend, though, we actually know this angle. Let's call this 20 degrees, for instance. Well, if I just want to find the value of x, what we're going to do is we're going to isolate it, okay? So what I would do to do that, to solve for this, I'd say 90 minus 30, I'd say x equals 90 minus 30. So my angle is whatever 90 degree is minus the angle that I know, correct? And over here, this is a whole angle in itself. I'm going to do the same thing over here. So this angle I do not know, which is x minus 4, is equal to 180 degrees minus, again, the angle that I know. So I know this is 20 degrees. I don't know what this angle, x minus 4, is. So what I do is I take 180 and I subtract whatever angle I do know from it. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. Okay, you guys understand how I can set them equal to each other. And if I want to solve for this angle, I subtract 30 from the other side. So therefore, equivalently, what I have is 90 degrees, which is the whole angle, minus the angle I know. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now... Can I erase that? No. Well, let's just review. Because now what we're going to talk about is here's two angles. Okay? So I'm giving you guys now two angles. And what I'd like you to do is see what is the complementary and supplementary, or complement and supplement for uh, angles for these two angles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, I need to remember what complementary and supplementary are as far as the unit circle. I'm going to erase this now. You guys can go back and look at the video, right? So if I look over here, one thing we need to remember, guys, we're not talking about degrees anymore, right? We're talking about radians. So a couple things. Well, if we've talked about, if I start at zero and I go all the way to here, that's pi, right? So halfway would be pi divided by two. So instead of using 90 degrees, we're going to say, um, we're going to say that it's pi over 2, all right? So I look at this, and, oh, I know why. Shoot, I picked a bad problem. Well, not a bad problem, but we'll just do one example. I'll show you guys a different example of complement. If you guys look at this, where is 2 pi over 3? Well, that's 1 pi over, th um, that's 1 pi, that'd be 2 pi. So this angle is right there. That is the angle 2 pi over 3. Can I add any can I add an angle to this to make it 90 degrees or is it already over 90 degrees? It's already over, it's already over 90 degrees, right? So it doesn't have a is it a complementary angle with anything? No. No, it's already over 90 degrees, right? You can't add an angle to that to make it 90 degrees that since it's already over 90 degrees. However, we can do supplementary for this problem. So, what I'm going to do, let's just do pi over 3. That's my next example. So here, what I said was, remember you can say, you can add two angles. So I could say theta plus 